In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to connect to your VPS using VS Code using the SSH connection. So let's get started. If you're looking to get a 20% discount on Hostinger, then use the referral code in the description below or go to the Hostinger website and in the website URL, add question mark, referral code is equal to S Web Dev and press enter. The code will be applied on checkout. So let's continue with the rest of the video. Okay, so right now I'm in my Hostinger control panel, okay, and I've already installed Ubuntu and it's really simple. You just go into the OS panel and you can install either Ubuntu or a control panel of some kind. Okay, so how do you do this at the end of the day, right? So the way to do this is first you should go and get a plugin. Called Remote SSH. Okay, I already have that installed and you have to have Remote Explorer. Okay, so these two are necessary. Then open up Remote Explorer. Okay as you can see the SSH option so go back to your H panel and you'll see a SSH key option okay open up this by clicking it okay and here it just click this okay and this will tell you the whole way of doing this okay you need to run this command okay just copy this open up a terminal I'm gonna open up this because in your user there is a dot SSH okay you need to open that up I'm just gonna open up the terminal here you open it up anywhere I think it'll just automatically send it here but this is where all of the SSH key configuration are going to be set up so just paste that command in okay I'm actually gonna remove this so I'm just going to keep this, okay, ssh-keygen-t, and then this is the type of encryption, okay? There is another encryption, I think that one is called RSA, if I'm not mistaken, okay? So just press enter, okay? And then it asks you where you want to put this. So the default, as I said, is going to be this, okay? So just press enter, and then you need to add in a passphrase. I am going to leave this empty for now because I'm gonna recreate this key for security purposes. But what you should do here is put in some type of like, in a sense, a password that you can remember, okay? Or something, anything that you can remember. And then you just reconfirm that and then press enter and it generates that key for you. I'm gonna close this. And as you can see, I have these two files now. Okay, these are necessary. So I'm just gonna open this one up, notepad just gonna copy this and if I go here as you can see you just need to paste this in okay and here just type in a name for this SSH key you can give it whatever name you want I'm just gonna type in something simple I'll just call it VPS it does, the name is just to kind of identify it in a sense but when connecting it doesn't really matter what the name is so just save this Okay, so I've added it and now all you need to do is go back, okay? And you have a root access and a root password. So when you set all of this up, you were asked to provide a password and that password is what you're going to use to connect to your Ubuntu, okay? So just copy this by clicking this button, okay? And we will go into this and go to the SSH option, click this, put this in, and then press enter. It will ask you where you want to put this configuration. I will just choose the first option. If you have a specific place, you can just go into the settings part and then specify it. But I'm just going to choose the default option, okay? And then you just click connect.
So as you can see, there are no files here. It's asking me to continue or not. I'm going to say continue. By the way, if you forget the root password, you can just change it. Okay. Just wanted to make that clear. Okay. So I think we're connected. If I click this. Yeah, we are connected. Okay. Yeah. It's saying we are connected here. So just press enter. We are connected to the SSH. Okay. And you can see all of the files here. If I go into the home, let's see. Okay. MySQL Ubuntu and the cloud control panel. Okay. So this is how you connect to your SSH. Also, I want to add one more thing. If you are asked for a password, just enter the root password. Okay. If you, for some reason, forget the root password, you can just change it here. Okay. You're given the option to do that and then just copy paste that new password here. So yeah, we're connected to our SSH. Now you can just install whatever you want into this. So I hope you like this tutorial, like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest tutorials and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.